Mm. Well, welcome to Ages of the Federation, which is a Sins of Soul Empire mod, Star Trek, of course. Um, it is by the guys who did Star Trek Armada 3, which is a fantastic mod that we play once again. I've played previous on the channel and I feel it miserably. Um, that one's set more next gen. This one is set in, well, the four year war, which if you're not, which is not a massive, uh, really well known plot point, but it basically happened what, after Enterprise, basically much. But this mod is a mod in progress, it is in beta at the moment, and it is fun. Um, it's a little bit, well, not finished. Like, it's really, I mean, in beta, it looks stunning. Um, because of the quality of the guys who create this, because they are fantastic and lovely, and I don't know how they do it. How they actually just do it out of the passion. I mean, if they can make, if they have got something for a proper full-on game, I would play it and buy it and back it and anything possible. But hey ho. Um, if you're watching over the stream, I apologize if I suddenly drop out because I've dropped out three times already. So I'm recording this. Um, so for. Those guys who missed the stream, and also for those who watched the stream, our main internet just decided to go nope. Yay. But first, let's pay attention to the mod, because we're playing. Like I said, it's unfinished, so if you download this, you need Sins of Soul Empire and a couple of expansion packs come with it, but you can get them relatively cheaply, go through the usual channels, aka CD keys, stuff like that, um, or you can buy it on stream, on stream, on Steam, um, but it's still a little bit pricey. I know they just have sales, but hey ho. Um, the tutorials don't work at the moment, so my suggestion is go play Star Trek Armada uh, 3, the mod for it. Try that because it's pretty much the same sort of idea and gameplay, but there are some quitty, quitty? <laughs> I can't speak to it. There are some major sort of changes to it um, for the era and for the time, and pacing. Pacing has changed dramatically, which I actually enjoy more in this one than in the other mod quite a lot. One massive problem I have come across, which I don't know if this just happens to be the version I played or happened to be the one game I played, but I couldn't actually finish it because I couldn't actually I got to the Klingon Empire. I got through them all. They were pretty crap to be honest. And um I got to the home world and I couldn't take over it. I couldn't take any plans that hadn't been taken over by them previously. So I don't know if I'm missing something. If I miss a film, please let me know because it was a, it's quite it was quite a big game breaker. It was fun while last week. I was only on for about an hour, so hey ho, I played it on easy because usually I can't be easy in the old one, but the AI on is is a little bit it's all quite fluid. One my a tiny gripe about this. The menus are very much like click I know, you can't just click on the icon, which I, I just I don't like, I'm not gonna lie. Um but yeah. So I'm going to play this Federation because they are my favourites. Uh, icons, again, they've basically transferred everything over from the previous mod. I've just got the previous mod now. Um, let's go old fashioned track. Um, so if you fight yourselves, you really want to. I haven't done that yet. Uh, just present the Terran Empire, that would be fun. Might do that in the stream, maybe once the next version of this comes out, just because it's easier. Red the bad because lol, you know, trap. Classical symbols. Let's go and let's not let it crash. Um, I only know from ships aligned. Turn up party, they're in the Enterprise opening title sequence. And now I look at them, they kind of appear. They sort of guess they are. These are your scouts, pretty much the equivalent of the Nova class from last one. These are your colony ships, which I'm pretty much exactly the same. I don't think they've changed one bit. Uh, these are your. I want to say construction ships. Am I right for that? No, yeah, construction, which are cool. They just kind of look slightly different than that. Um, now, hello, Enterprise, which you can destroy within five seconds. And I did la my first game on this. I sent them then it by itself, stupidly, and it got absolutely destroyed. So Enterprise is not that strong. Um, I believe that she it's at the point where it has shields, so at least that's more than I am in Solaris at the minute. Uh, these are same as them, same as the scouts, but these are your, I guess, your frigates, so you're just casual flymen. They're quite inexpensive to build. Um, Neptune class, I believe, is your sort of 
heavy, light-ish cruiser, which I like them. Oh, the nostalgia is really close. If one of those things go boop. I, know, I, I like this game. I, I like this sort of idea. Um, it's a lot more focused on the war aspect in this one. Um, although apparently there is going to be displo uh, displo diplomacy, <sighs> diplomacy aspects being built in later, but they've really got the core sort of fighting gameplays in, and I really enjoy that part. Um, I just I that's ironically one of my favorite parts of the track is the the wars because they just I find them funner for somehow, especially in terms of gaming. Uh, maybe not so much in terms of storytelling. I mean, over Pete Space Nine. This isn't with just perfect. I keep then I've got my webcam, I keep gesturing and nothing's happening. Just just as then, you couldn't see it, so I can't remember if my middle finger stuck up, who knows? I don't promise I, I promise, right. Um I like the menus in this one. I mean uh, aesthetically I really, really, really love this game. Um there's the same sort of attention to teach of love and attention into its modelling and everything else though, but I don't know. I, I, maybe it's just the era, um, in terms of like what it's based off. Um, but I just I really like this tactical sort of layout they've got going. It's a lot. I feel a lot nicer than um, Amada had it. And I'm hope I'm kind of hoping they would update Amada with sort of aspects of their silver. But apparently, I think Amada's sort of all pretty much done. Um, although they did just really really release Uprising a long ago. Um, but I think that's kind of it for that one. Um. It's just done. So let's just go ahead and pull this. Let's just get some good old fashioned. Yeah, so we're here. So, sun's right. I always am embarrassed. Okay, so it's this map. So the random maps aren't so random at the moment. I'm going to pause this out. Um, they're a bit, well, unrandom and not particularly, um, I guess. As random as I'd like them, but then again, this is only open beta, so you know, can't expect that much. So researching, because that's what that's the fun part of every game. Um, they've changed what is valuable. So your goods is your credits, your money, your dilithium still there, of course, and your titanium's there. This one needs little ships, these capitals, which are your enterprises. Yorktown, which I quite like design. That's a nice little throwback to Star Trek Legacy, which I is on my actually all time favourites. Uh, the USS Kelvin is in there, which this is what I was talking about when it brought back, sort of bringing in um, elements of JJ Abrams' timeline as much as people didn't like. Some parts of that, uh, ship designs were pretty nice. They were a bit Apple Store, but they were pretty nice. Neptune class and the Franklin class, which got Star Trek Beyond again. I'm just going to get another engineering station because. Ships are pretty much everything as I discovered first time. I was a little bit slow on building my fleet last time when I come and uh, my first playthrough and I got wrecked so quickly. So, um, trade ports who you're trading with, I don't know, but um, they are quite important in this time. So, I can't make sure this comes under trade ports. Oh, just a, yeah. so I'm gonna race it trade ports, just get a little bit more monies. Why am I? Why can we fog a wall, people? So some of my just in the mountain without realizing. Aha! I pressed the wrong button. Destroy my life that. Uh, you have to have your um, you know, your auto use your abilities you have to automatically set them on all the ships and that is a little bit of a pain um i don't know if it's a playing style thing or not or what but um i always i i just set that and do them themselves i'm not i'm not a massive fan of doing it myself but hey Okay, lost course guys, just get out of get out, 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 get out. Should have really checked the speed limit for takeoff. Well this is a great start, I've just kinda lost half my fleet straight away. Let's be honest, I don't think they're gonna be able to get anything. Oh 
Sorry, man. Should strike up a frigate, shouldn't it? Yeah, we should be fine. Everything's gonna be absolutely fine, isn't it? Totally gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Everything's gonna be dandy. Nothing is gonna go wrong. Ahem. Um, feels like you earn your victory a lot more in this. Um, hey, hello, Yorktown. Ain't you a massive ship? Um, Choose rebuild or so colonize a beauty of this show. The Yorktown lasts a long time, but your cattle ships last a lot longer in this. Like, oh, it's just so pretty. Ship looks really on fire. I'm probably about to get destroyed. Yeah. Things aren't going well. Yeah. Things quite possibly. Going to a place where things are just gonna be completely destroyed. Well, where Yorktown, Yorktown is kind of working and stuff, but please. I think I'm gonna need a new fleet. This was unexpected. Something I did ever do in the um, in words, not in words in um, Armada. I think my great uh, one great Armada is I seem to ships get destroyed really quickly after picking a fleet. Let's just go for it. So that enter a wormhole. Let's see how this goes. Disappeared. I don't want to uh, disappear too. Oh my god. Guys, that is, if I'm right thinking, that is the home world. I'm going to send a sneaky. Sneaky little ship. And I feel I might just find the Klingon home world. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found a way to get around things. And I have a plan. I have a good plan. Which I think I'm about to use. If we can just find a home world, might just have a way to finally end this war in one spell swoop. Let's just see the little ship and get through this. We can attack right at the core. Right at the core, guys. Right at the goddamn core. Skip ahead slightly. And um, we have 
funny drunk lines. A sneak attack. Um, so far, I've not been able to take a planet over from Clemens, whether that's a bug or not, or whether it's just on the right ship or not. But I did a sneaky thing. I decided to go build a uh, outside a wormhole. Which I can't find a wormhole. Oh, that's a bad one. A wormhole. And went. Oh, well, uh, there you go. Went to find a wormhole. And I brought my entire fleet through it. Where the Clarion Homeworld is just over there. Little sneak attack. Let's see if this works or not, whether or not it'll go through. Now I discovered something pretty good. Um, there is a version of Discovery in this, which I totally did not un like think they were gonna do. And it looks quite cool. Um, I really, really like it. I mean it's a little bit short, and it has a short jump warp, which of course is probably the score drive, but I really like it. I really actually like that model. It's pretty cool. I've still managed to keep that one alive somehow. Um, there are some sort of, I suppose, possible predecessors to Titan, which if you've seen the, not this one, this one, which is the Poseidon, again, has some sort of little reliance, but it's kind of like an upside down um, NXO1. It looks really nice and lovely. This one is definitely a precursor to a certain very famous Reliant Starship. Um, and I finally got to level, because I've played about a few hours, um, of which I have gone from this to that, to Enterprise's redesign, which I ironically is the, is the Endeavour, which I thought was the Columbia, but hey-ho. The little little bit more next stage, which I wish we'd actually seen in the show, because it actually looks really cool, really like it, to um, one of the ships from Discovery, which I recognise, which again is really redesigned to kind of fit the prime timeline, which is quite nice, and I built a few of them. And the ship, and oh, what's the ship again? Now, a little hit in there, guess who I got? Now, my only gripe with this model is you can build one of these, but it's because they're quite OP and quite lovely. But that model's lovely, and if you uh, if I unpause it, you can see everything spins, everything looks good, it's really nice. I like it. not quite as good, but I've room for a few more, but I kind of just want to see how the combat works on a big, large scale. So let's start this, shall we? Um, so this is a secondary planet. This is the home planet, so I'm going to give this one a go, see if I can take it over. If not, then there's a big problem with this mod, and I can't wake it had to overtake planets. Which is slightly a game breaker, um, especially for this. But, let's just enjoy the visuals of this game, of this mod, sorry. And let's just, let's just send everyone. To and while they all decide I'm gonna go over there. No, don't go there, guys. I want you to go now. Those stupid starships don't know where they are. Right, I don't want to miss a cool walk out because Gosh, I just totally collect someone. God damn it! No, guys, just, 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 just go, just go there, just, just go. Everyone, everyone, go there. They ignore my random breaking please. I like how all the missiles warp at the same time. We have weaving ones with four. I just, I just really love it. I really, really love the visual style of the mod. It's a nice little mixture of them all. But obviously, if I can't get the planet, it's kind of a deal breaker um, in a lot of ways. But. Good 
you can hear like um i, I mean i don't know how quiet i've heard it's quite quiet but you can sort of hear a mixture of all the different sort of sounds and everything they've clearly taken inspiration from all and mixed them all together and do you know what it works really nicely the effects sort of definitely hit sort of the right notes let's see if i can actually can I actually bomb things if you can't name enterprise in this that's one very small thing which i'm just a little bit like hmm, okay sure uh for some bizarre reason they've stopped it's too many characters apparently which is bizarre to me but you know whatever let's just see if i can bomb a planet again this is one big deal break if i can't yes you can let's just look at this then full on thingy mode let's take everything off oh that's so pretty so basically you need to really really upgrade to take over any planets you need a titan and that ladies and gentlemen is how you do it and those guys are just going to sit back there so at the minute, only Titans can take over planets, which I find a little bit, not game-breaking, but a tad harsh. Just a tad harsh, but do you know what? For visuals like this, I'll go, I'll, I'll let that slide. I'll totally let that slide. Let's see how this goes. I will never get tired of that shot. Status report. Station complete. Moment truth, guys. Attack. Everyone, just go for it. And let's just enjoy the end of a war. Station complete. Watch as Enterprise completely obliterates Kronos. Which is such a Star Trek thing, clearly. I mean, it's clearly course after them. Oh, they've got... Uh, Ooh. What are we promoted to? Michael Um I kinda wanna see what this does. Um I'm I'm aware I'm I am i pretty much just kind of won this. Um Oh, hello. We have people like pronouns who are here to fight us. Some of the ships are getting absolutely just wrecked. I can't tell what would if that was us or let's have a check on this quickly. Oh, I can finally use this. Right, I want to see what this does. So apparently with that, you can trigger like a warp core breach. And I think I've just done it. Have I? You keep firing at that, please. Just, just keep obliterating it, please. You're all firing through a planet. You do know that, right? But at last, guys. Sure, you, you keep doing that. Um, yeah. I think, because I've got this all, all night on easy because I didn't quite know how hard this mod would be. But I think this is maybe 
very easy because the Klingons did nothing apart from sending a couple of ships to try and combat it. So, next time I play this is definitely going to be higher difficulty because this is too easy, I think. This has been a fun mod to play. And with that, I won. Um, so, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. Um, I know this video is kind of all over the place and it sort of plays sort of the playthrough and it's not really become one. Um, however, I would like to possibly do a playthrough of this now. I know it is not a game breaking bug in it. Um, I might try wait till the next version just until I've got all the bugs, well, all some of the bugs sorted. But yeah, I've really enjoyed this and thank you for watching, guys. And if you want to go check out, I'll put a link down below for the mod. Um, I will likely be streaming this again. Um, Plus playing as Klingons, I don't often, um, but we'll wait and see. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you guys later. Thank you.